Hi, this is Dan Brunton with the Business Client Platforms Group at Intel. I'll be showing you how Microsoft's Autopilot capability works with Microsoft Endpoint Manager to automate the onboarding of new Windows devices and how it can be used with Intel Endpoint Management Assistant. Let's start with a basic question. What is Autopilot? Autopilot is a capability from Microsoft that automatically matches a Windows device to a management console like Microsoft Endpoint Manager or VMware Workspace ONE during the initial setup of Windows. It's designed to follow the tenets of modern manageability and allows an organization to ship Windows devices directly to the end user without needing to have IT get their hands on the system first. There are three main steps in the autopilot process. First, the OEM or reseller provides the necessary information at the time of purchase. Microsoft supports an automated process where the necessary data can be automatically uploaded to the customer's Microsoft Endpoint Manager instance or manually added by the customer directly. Once that's done, IT can optionally pre-populate a computer name and match a device to a user. The second step in the process is the automatic matching of the device to the customer's Microsoft Endpoint Manager instance. When Windows starts the out-of-box experience on first boot, it will phone home to Microsoft, supplying information about the device to Microsoft. Microsoft will match that information with the details supplied by the OEM in the first step to match the device up to the customer's Microsoft Endpoint Manager instance. The final step is where the customer's Microsoft Endpoint Manager instance begins managing the device. From here, configuration policies are applied and required software is installed. Now that we've talked about the process, let's see it in action. We'll start by booting up our client. For this demo, I'm using a wired network connection to save a little time. If I was using Wi-Fi, I would have to specify language and keyboard settings and then manually join a Wi-Fi network before the autopilot process would start. In my case, my company has largely disabled the Windows out-of-box experience for me. All I need to do is provide my corporate credentials to start the process. From here, Microsoft Endpoint Manager takes over, applying my company's configuration settings and installing required software. I've kept the required software list short. I'm installing the Intel Emma Agent and Microsoft Office. Depending on the environment and configuration, it's possible that the Intel Emma Agent could be installed early enough to allow IT to remotely monitor the rest of the onboarding process. This is the case for me. I can see the new device has shown up in Intel Emma, and I can start a remote control session to monitor it. We'll let the process finish. I'll save everyone the time of watching everything and skip to the end. Now that the autopilot process is completed, I am ready to go. The time it takes to complete this will vary depending on many factors, including the number of configuration policies that need to be applied, the amount of software that needs to be installed, the speed of the network connection used, and the performance of the device being set up. Additionally, if there is data to be synchronized from a cloud storage tool like Microsoft OneDrive, that will begin after the autopilot process has completed.